Hello there, greetings in Jesus' name. This is Sule Emmanuel. Welcome to Jesus Every Day. Light for your daily path. This is episode 660. And our topic, the commanded atmosphere. And this is part six. Our Bible reference is taken from God's precious word in Psalms 100 verse 2. Friends, one of the amazing benefits of anointed worship, anointed praise, is that it awakens in us a consciousness of God's presence. This is why you and I must maintain the discipline of praising and worshiping God even in the face of challenges. As we worship God, we invite and we create a glorious atmosphere. This atmosphere becomes what opens our spiritual eyes and opens our mind to see what God is saying. And this also causes us to be healed of every wrong focus. The Bible reminds us in Acts chapter 16, verse 24 to 26, how Paul and Silas were thrown into prison and their feet were bound and chained. These men refused to be downcast. Instead, they praised, they prayed, and the presence of God took over the prison such that a great atmosphere was all over the prison and great earthquake shook the prison foundations. And all at once, every prison door flung open and the chains of all the prisoners came loose. This incredible manifestation of God's power and presence happened because Paul and Silas, they chose to take charge of their atmosphere through worship, through praise, and through prayer. We need to learn from this and adopt this. Develop and sustain the habit of worshiping God. No matter the circumstance, as you do, you are taking charge of the atmosphere for God's glory, for God's power to be made manifest. Here is our task for today. Take a moment away from everyone and everything just to worship and to praise the Lord Almighty. Take a moment, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 30 minutes, depending on how, mu how much time that you have. Just take some time just to worship the Lord, just to praise the Lord. It will do incredible wonders to the atmosphere over you. Please pay close attention to our wisdom push for today. Pay close attention to the declaration of the day. Declare it upon yourself in the name of Jesus. And our daily Bible reading, our meditation for this morning, and our meditation for the evening. And it will bless you in the name of Jesus. I pray God's grace upon you today. May the Lord strengthen your hands for victory. May your eyes be strengthened. May your hearing be strengthened. May your feet be strengthened. May you be blessed in all things. In Jesus' precious name. Hi there. The most beautiful and profitable decision a person can make is the decision to allow Jesus lead their lives. This decision is what we make when we open our hearts to Jesus. We don't just give him our lives. We receive his life. Maybe as you hear me right now, you have not made this beautiful decision yet. You haven't said yes to Jesus. Today is an amazing day to do this. You will not regret it. A new chapter will be opened in your life from this decision. Just say these words after me. Dear Father, I come to you today. I recognize you are a good father. Thank you for loving me in spite of everything. Today, I respond to your love. I receive your life. And I ask that you become king and Lord of my heart. From today, I will serve and live for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Congratulations, you have made the most important decision of your life. Now, if you need help to grow in your relationship with Jesus, please send an email to the address on the screen. 
and we will be more than happy to assist you. God bless you. Have a great day, Father.